Whoa, I am married to Leanne says. Good question. Hey everyone. Okay, so now it is finally time for yet another Lee Answers video. A time whenever I answer your questions. Actually, first I ask for you to ask me questions. Mm, kind of weird. And then I try to answer as many as I can. Um, you guys always send me a ton of really awesome questions and I really wish I could answer every single one of them, but I don't think that's possible unless I wanted to like break some record or something like that because I tend to ramble like now. Um, let me explain something really quickly. I am dressed like Princess Leia. I'm going to kind of like a work party tonight and it's a Star Wars theme kind of thing and so obviously Princess Leia. I got the buns, I got a dress that's semi Princess Leia flavored or something like that. Not flavored, don't taste it. I'm sure I'll post a photo or something like that but um that explains the outfit so it's gonna be Princess Leia answering your questions about Leanne, about me. I'm moving outside the bounds of reality. But anyway, let's get straight to the questions. I'm starting on Instagram. We have Courtney King 94 Do you do your own nails or do you get them done somewhere? They always look perfect. Thank you, Courtney King. I mostly do my nails at home because I feel like it's kind of a waste of money to get manicures. But every once in a while, I do go get them professionally done, just like manicure, pedicure, because I have a really bad habit of like, this is maybe a little gross. Um, chewing or like biting the skin around my nail because it like gets a little biteable. I'm not really sure. It's not appetizing. I know it's like a weird thing. Like I don't bite my nails, but I will like kind of like chomp the side like that. So it starts looking a little nasty and they can clean that up. But unfortunately, I don't have those skills. But I mostly paint them on my own. Paint jobs by Leanne. Little Bookworm 33 said, what is your favorite song right now? I like this question because I actually do have a favorite song right now. I mean, this is apart from like my all time favorite songs because it's not my all time favorite song, but my favorite song for the past week, which is weird, it's called What's In My Head by Fuzz. It's amazing and I love it. CanCan669 asked, have you ever been insecure about your height? I ask as a fellow tall girl. All right, fellow tall girls, we must unite. It's a good thing to be tall. I'm not saying it's a bad thing to be short. It's just something that's like special and cool. And it's also something that's not going to change. You're never gonna get shorter. Of course, you're gonna see the bad things about being tall, especially when you're younger. Okay, I'm not even answering the question. I'm just lecturing you. I was insecure about being tall because I grew like a whole bunch right in middle school. So like very early tween years or whatever. I just like all of a sudden grew a whole bunch. And so it's super tall. And I was kind of insecure because not all girls are tall. Not all anybody is tall, especially at that age. All the boys are like still shrimps. I definitely avoided heels and I felt a little weird about it. I I hate to say this, but I think it takes a lot of time and it also takes like you focusing on the fact that it's not going to change. So you better love it or accept that you're always going to be miserable. That sounds horrible, right? So just love it. There's nothing wrong with being tall. Literally nothing wrong with it. If you're worried about dating shorter guys, get over yourself. Don't be shallow. Um, I've dated shorter guys. Obviously, I can't tell you who to be attracted to or whatever, but these are things that come with like being a tall girl and you just kind of have to like get over it because it's not the biggest thing in life. Maybe that was a little harsh. I'm sorry, but we're moving on. My nose has turned red because I'm getting a little too warm and flustered and excited. I don't know. So I turned on the fan. I'm sorry if it's noisy. We just got to deal with it. Okay, Kelly Ann DiCarlo asked, who is your celebrity crush? Um, I have several. Um, one of my biggest, most all-time celebrity crushes is Joaquin Phoenix. Mm, probably not in the movie Her, but um, other times, at other times. Of course, Ryan Gosling, who doesn't love all that. I could go on and on. I'm gonna stop there. Next question is a may oh I don't know how to say your name at all. May I O G U I X. I'm sorry. Did you move in with your boyfriend? No I did not and no I do not have a boyfriend. I'm an independent lady. Carl's underscore C said do you have plans for the future or are you one of the take it one day at a time types? I definitely have plans for the future as far as like I want to be successful and happy and 
love and be loved all that kind of stuff but I don't have like a five-year plan or something like that so I'm kind of somewhere in between but definitely leaning more towards the take it one day at a time Mariposa 1880 said what was the most challenging part of starting YouTube Mm, this one's kind of tough, but I think the most challenging part was just like learning how to work everything. Everything is new. Everything is a learning process. So you've got to figure out how to work your camera. You've got to figure out what kind of lighting looks good. You've got to figure out how to edit your videos if you're going to edit. Even uploading or starting a channel or picking a name, like all of those things are so new. That was definitely the hardest for me. It was also pretty hard just picking a name because I was like I'm gonna stick with this so it was like a big decision it was like a like a marriage I am married to Liam says that sounds weird Jessica rain asked why do you keep your personal life and your YouTube life separate I don't know because it is tempting to just like oh I want to make like daily vlogs and expose just you know absolutely everything and tell you all the dirty details of my entire life and yeah I love watching that of course but I think it's like once you start doing that, it's like you can't stop and I don't know, there's something about me that I'm just like naturally just a private person and I'd rather, you know, not have people make a lot of like assumptions about my life because I think like once you start throwing stuff out there then people take that and like you know blow it up and think that they like know you down to the bone i mean like i talk to you guys completely candidly like there's no script here like i just like spill it every single time like yeah i like talk about makeup and stuff but like i don't know and like bringing other people into stuff like talking about my work and stuff like that i mean that's just kind of like the whole professional life thing like that needs to be separate. It's not that I don't trust you guys, it's not that I do scandalous things all the time, but it's just, I don't know, maybe one day I'll start doing daily vlogs and totally tell you guys like every moment of my silly existence, but that day's not today. I don't know. I don't have a good answer. I'm sorry if that was a depressing answer. 0327 Andrew said, what is your favorite movie of all time? This is a really difficult question. I'm obsessed with movies. I've watched a bajillion movies. I'll watch like pretty much anything you put in front of me. But it's on my mind now because IFC is having like a whole Goodfellas appreciation month or something like that. Um, and it was just on. I love Goodfellas. It is definitely in my top five, if not my number one favorite movie of all time. I just love it. I've watched it a thousand times. I could watch it a thousand times more. I just love it. I need to come up with like a, an all time top 10 or top five, something like that. Or maybe like different categories. I don't know, would you, are you guys interested in that? I don't know. I'm starting a blog, maybe that would be something good for the blog. We shall see. Okay, now we're moving on to my Facebook page and I'm just gonna randomly pick some. I wish I could answer all of these questions. I love you guys, thank you. Thank you for participating, seriously. Like, it shocks me every time. I don't know why, but it shocks me that you guys are so cool. And I love you. Just have a little sappy moment here. Ooh, this is a good question. Destiny Dawn Bulla asked, if you had to choose between big lashes or big hair, which would you pick? Big lashes. That is really hard for me to say, but big lashes. I just think they make such a huge difference. Like today I have half lashes on and I just think it's like, you know, my hair is like flat to my head and it looks kind of goofy, but I still feel like all fancy and wonderful because the lashes just like do it for me. I don't know why. I just love them. But if I have both, I'd take both. Yes, I would. Natasha Johnson said, since it's spring and it's getting somewhat warm, what kind of eyeshadow would you suggest for a cute summer look? Um, I'd suggest something like this. I think it's kind of like, do whatever you want. It's spring, summer, do, just whatever. I did do another spring makeup tutorial and it's like all purple and radiant orchid. If you want to watch that one, I'll link that one down below. And I just did another eye tutorial. It's super simple look. It's kind of close to this and I'll be uploading that soon. Veil Duva asked, have you had a broken heart? If you did, how did you move on? I did, I have, I've had some pretty messy, sad breakups in my life, but um, I think the biggest thing, which really sucks to hear, the biggest thing is time. And the other biggest thing is keeping yourself focused on you and your little circle and the people in your circle that are cool. You have to focus on the things that you can control. You can't always control that you 
dated somebody and it didn't work out or they broke up with you or you had to break up with them because they were a horrible person something like that but the things you can control like focus on those things and stay away from their social media like do not like go check up on them because that's only gonna bring like toxic thoughts and it's gonna make you like stay in that whole like spiral of sad destruction you need to get out of it like okay be sad but get over it like fake it till you make it and you know if that guy was a jerk don't be sad about it get mad about it because you deserve better than that know your worth i'm pretty harsh today i'm sorry this is just how it is okay taylor oh, i don't know how to say your last name it starts with an s s c h u l d h e i s c whoa she said craziest color you dye your hair question mark um i've had a little purple in my hair i've had you know pink tips in my hair that was like in my early youtube days um so i like pink i like purple so a color that i haven't done i like to do like light blue i think that would be really cool so my hair is like so blonde now i'm so tempted to just do like all over like light purple or i don't know i don't want to do pink because i feel like pink is like overdone i don't know i think it'd still be cool but maybe like a light purple or light blue i think that would be really cool i don't know if i could do that i should I should ask my, my job if they would be okay with that. They probably would, I don't know. I would like to do that. Should I do that? You guys would probably freak out, right? I don't want y'all to freak out. Sandia Ear, I don't know how to say your last name. Ugh, I'm really sucking at this. Um, what would you tell younger girls to be happier in life? Um, this is a really big question and I'm just kind of saying this right off the top of my head and I don't think that I'm like the expert on happiness. Obviously we're all growing day by day. Um, but I would say chill out. Like don't take everything so seriously. Everything isn't life or death. If you're freaking out about something, like take a step back and be like, is this actually going to kill me? Is this actually going to like degrade my quality of life? No, it's probably not. So like whatever it is that you're freaking out about, like take a step back and realize you need to knock it down like a couple points like there are big things in life and go right ahead like have tons of emotions and freak out about it but um usually day to day you don't need to be like at this high level of like stress and anxiety just like look at the big things worry about the big things all the little things they can kind of just they work themselves out half the time. Obviously, I don't know your life, but I know whenever I was younger, I did kind of freak out about things. The things you think are big now might not be, so just like calm down a bit. It's easier said than done, I know. Ooh, this one's deep. Anna Gruber said, what are your feelings on marriage? Pro, against, just wanna be happy? Um, I definitely just wanna be happy. I'm not in a relationship, I'm not focused on marriage in any way, but I do think that it's something that I wanna do. I want to get married I want to have like that best friend partnership kind of thing and like have someone that you can like live with and like be cool and like make your life awesome with I don't know but it's also kind of scary because it's like every day I hear stories about like people cheating on each other fighting and getting divorced and stuff like that like my parents are together and they've had like the most beautiful marriage relationship whatever they've been together since they were teenagers and it's really crazy because I feel like that doesn't exist anymore and I don't know it blows my mind but at the same time I, that's what I grew up with and so I feel like that's possible so that's what I want I don't know we'll see all right so those are all the questions I'm gonna have time to do today um hopefully I will do another one of these next month if you want to see that thumbs up this video comment down below tell me something give me this sign because I kind of feel like I don't know I don't know what I feel like I'm feeling a little insecure should I do more of these do you like it I like it I like doing them I know I'm rushed right now I know I have a red nose I'm not even sure if you can tell, but it feels red to me because I'm like hot and I'm flustered and I know I'm just like Princess Leia, all of these things combined, kind of crazy. Let's just push all those things aside. Um, if you have any comments or questions or whatever, comment down below. If you want to find me on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, Tumblr, Google+, Plus, wherever. I love hearing from you guys. It, the links will be down below. It's Leanne Says Everywhere. You can also subscribe to my channel so you can catch all of my new videos. I put out about two videos a week. And if you are already subscribed, thank you so much. You are my people and I love you. And as always, thank you so much for watching and I'll see you guys next time. Bye everyone taste of my own medicine. Pretty sure that's what it's called. Um, um, ridiculous. So do those things.
<gasps> you wouldn't, would you? I don't know. Can't control it. This one is more geared towards being like a setting powder. Actually, I think they say they're all supposed to be setting powders, but some of them just look like not right or they wouldn't be a good setting powder for me. This one is actually a really good setting powder for me. 